So next would have been to prioritize data and AI integration. Can't stress that enough. One of the reasons I think we're breaking our pick on AI right now, and certainly 95% of the projects are failing outright, and I probably think it's a little more than that, is because our data is in such abysmal shape. So we should have put data on the radar screen before the cloud computing com computing journey started because it's so important. We have to have source of data for training. We have to have a core understanding of what our business is doing. And right now, most of the data sets within these large enterprises don't have a single source of truth. They don't. They have data hygiene problems. They're inaccurate. Uh, redundancy is everywhere. All those sorts of things. And they should have been fixed before they moved them into the cloud. In many cases. Enterprises took a big mess, which was their data assets on premises, moved into the cloud, and basically they got a mess in the cloud, and they haven't, they haven't cleaned that up. That's still technical debt that exists. So we should have been smarter about that. Next would have been to advocate for organizational transformation. So this is about not just focusing on the technology, but focusing on the people and culture that leverage the technology. So I was early money on this as well, but when we were started our cloud journey, there wasn't a focus on the cultural changes and the operating model changes that had to occur within these organizations that were adopting cloud computing. And it was hard to get people thinking in that way. Uh, now, during my cloud computing architecture journey, one of the things that I did do was make sure I put you know human resources and cultural issues uh, that were part of the project. And so I would, you know, hire people and, and use consultants that were just focused on the culture and focused on the operating models to build that into the architecture. So as I was building the physical architecture and logical architecture, people were focused on the skills changes that we needed to have, the architectural changes, basically in terms of the organization stuff, how the culture needed to adapt to the way of using cloud computing effectively. And that got on everybody's radar screen, I think, way too late. And that probably accounted for a large portion of the failures that we've seen in cloud computing in the last 15 years. So again, if I was talking to my early self, I would have made that a priority.